When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. the annual music service of the First Unitarian Universalist Church of San Antonio. My name is Susan Dill. I'm the music director here. I'd like to begin by thanking Steve and Don and Mary Lou for those wonderful words of wisdom found in that beautiful prelude. Our weekly service continues to be an important way for us to connect, to be together, and to receive information and inspiration. At our church, we believe that we are united by universal love that binds us in mutual care and affection in our work for the justice for all and for our planet. Our faith is all-inclusive and all means all. If you are new with us today, we welcome you. Wherever you are on your life's journey, we hope you will find your place with us. And if you are new to us or visiting, we welcome you to sign in on the chat stream. We'd like to get to know you and follow up with you. The First UU Music Program traditionally presents a music service in June 
where we choose a theme of spiritual merit and then find music of a variety of styles to comment on that theme. Due to the pandemic, we were obviously not able to gather to practice and perform together. Today's service will hold music especially recorded for this service, like Mozart's Ave Verum, and previously recorded music by First UU musicians that help us deal with emotions brought to surface because of current events. We were not able to get permission to use a song I really wanted to share with you, written and performed by Chris Cornell. I included the introduction I had planned for the song and a link for you to follow should you have the time and inclination to do so. It can be found on the lyric sheet below the order of service, which can be found below the chat. Our next song is a mashup of Happy Days and Come On, Get Happy, performed by Jaime, Tavis, and myself. This pairing of two Depression-era anthems was popularized by Judy Garland and Barbara Streisand in the 1960s. There is both optimism and irony in both the lyrics and the music. It was written in a very low point in our history when thousands were suffering eerily like today. The songs are meant to lift spirits, to remind folks that one day we're going to get happy, look skyward, and walk in the sun once more. The joyful optimism of the lyrics is juxtaposed with a slower tempo and contemporary dissonant chords, acknowledging the reality of the task to get happy. Let's recite our covenant that binds us together as a religious community. The words can be found on your screen. Love is the doctrine of this church. The quest of truth is its sacrament, and service is its prayer. To dwell together in peace, to seek knowledge and freedom, to serve humanity and fellowship, to the end that all souls shall grow into harmony with the divine. Thus do we covenant with each other. Hi. We're the Northrops and we'll be lighting the chalice today. I'm Jason and I am newly elected to the CREF committee and part of the parenting group. I'm Kirsten and I'm a playground volunteer. I'm Madeline, I'm in middle school. I'm Liam, I'm in elementary school and this is Abby. Today we light our chalice remembering to welcome all those who join with us, to be kind to all living things. Today let's gather around this light of hope as we share this time together. 
Hans Christian Andersen once said, where words fail, music speaks. What fills us up at disquieting times? What galvanizes us through the national anguish, heartache, and misery we are experiencing now? Music is one of humanity's greatest tools for coping with various emotional stressors. The music you hear in this service was chosen for its power to help you cope in stressful times. It will bring you comfort. It's a metaphorical shoulder to cry on. It is motivating. It can push you out of bed and get you through tough times. It can help you focus and it connects you with other people. It's amazing how listening to a powerful song can change your life. Music can even teach what humanity cannot always, how to be human, live and feel and love. The next song you hear is a Christian motet. One might ask why a Unitarian Universalist choir would learn a song that was written to celebrate the feast of Corpus Christi. And my answer is that it's a choral masterpiece that encompasses a universe of feeling in 46 short bars. It's often sung at funerals to bring comfort to the bereaved. Mozart's Ave Verum Corpus was individually recorded by members of the choir after the lockdown. Jaime was kind enough to put it together for us. It's time now to share our joys and sorrows, as one of our time-honored Sunday morning rites. As we open our hearts and minds in an intentional way, let us remember ours is a welcoming community where we find connection, a spiritual community where we find and make meaning. Ours is a sharing community where our joys are amplified. 
a caring community where our sorrows are heard and held with compassion. At this time of uncertainty, as we find ourselves caught up in both a global pandemic and a painful discourse about racial injustice, we are also more deeply involved and connected to each other. Let's join in silent meditation as we write our joys and sorrows on the chat screen. Today, we celebrate with those who are holding joys. We pray with those in our midst who struggle and are sorrowful. We pray for all those known and unknown, present and absent, remembered and forgotten. The next song is dedicated to the memory of our dear friend and choir member, Dick Searles, who passed away this month.
for the gifts which we have received and the gifts which we ourselves are. May we be truly grateful. May we be committed to using these gifts to make a difference in the world, to increase love and justice, to decrease hatred and oppression, to expand beloved community, to share and to keep sharing as long as ever we can. For those of you who didn't know our friend Dick Searles, you will get a real sense of how truly special he was in this performance with the First UU Children's Choir. Rainbow Connection is the song. This performance of Glory, the theme song from the movie Selma, was performed by the first UU Choir at the University Methodist Church during a choir exchange in 2015. We learned this song to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Selma March. There were a number of Unitarian Universalists who marched in the Selma protests, and two, 
the Reverend James Reeb and a lay member Viola Luiso were killed as a result of their participation in the marches. Martin Luther King had the following to say about the unity that comes from singing together. The freedom songs are playing a strong and vital role in our struggle. They give the people new courage and a sense of unity. I think they keep alive a faith, a radiant hope in the future, particularly in our most trying hours. Our potential for talking across cultures can be facilitated by singing together. Through singing, we can open each other to a more honest, genuine communication. Therefore, we performed this song with heavy hearts in remembrance of those who gave so much for social justice for African Americans. Thank you. 
piece is called The Message. It's an impressive composition that uses a through composed approach, following the rise and fall of the inspiring message of the power of love to overcome humankind's baser drives. Listen for the section where the youth remind us of peace and love for the ages. It speaks directly to the current growing base of young people of all colors who understand they have the power to make things better.
the powerful, immensely moving song, You Will Be Found, is a poignant reminder that there is hope for each one of us to experience connection. You are not alone. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, someone will come running to take you home.
point in our traditional music services when I thank people for their contributions to the music program at First UU. I would like to begin by thanking all of the many talented instrumental musicians and vocal soloists that contributed to our services this year. Next, I'd like to thank Karen Emerson for her work with the Children's Choir. And then there's Jaime. It is an honor and a privilege to work with you, my friend. I hope you know how much this church loves you. Finally, the first UU choir members. Each and every one of you holds a special place in my heart. You constantly amaze me with your willingness to work hard and be vulnerable enough to let the music speak through you. I love you, my friends. One more announcement. Everyone is invited to join our coffee hour after the postlude. Just follow the link posted in the chat. I have a special walk down memory lane for those of you who are longtime members. The recording serving as our postlude was found in the archives. Please enjoy Reverend Brett Lordy, Jaime, and some of their friends playing the spiritual I'll Fly Away. May the warmth of this community and the memory of this music sustain our hearts and encourage our minds as we engage the blessings of life's challenges and joys. The service has ended. Your service has begun. <laughs>